Love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> oh. Hello and welcome to another GCN unboxing. This time round, you can win something that personally I'd be very happy with. Topic designed some really cool accessories in the world of riding, namely pumps, racks, mounts, you name it, the list goes on. But what we're talking about today is becoming increasingly popular in the world of riding, namely gravel and bike packing. Our adventurous friends at Topic have kindly supplied us with their latest line of bike packing bags. And they have agreed to give away three full sets of all the bags you see in this video to some of you lucky viewers. So stay tuned and I'll give you details on how you can enter in a bit. But for now, let's get unboxing. So this is the backloader, which is designed to take a large volume of gear without the need for a rear pannier rack. It mounts simply and easy to your bike on the saddle rails with these straps here and also to your seat post with this rather strong Velcro strap. Now, the backloader comes in three different sizes. You have a six litre bag, a 10 litre bag, and a 15 litre bag. And they also come in two different colors. You have the green and the black. Now I have here the 10 litre bag in the color green. And this weighs 459 grams, and all the bags will carry a maximum payload of five kilos. Now the whole bag is made of waterproof, durable, and topic say stain proof material. But for your added sort of peace of mind, there's also a dry bag within the bag. So if you are taking any nice clothes on your bike packing trip, you can rest easy because they'll be safe and sound in any torrential downpours. And there's also a really handy air release valve here. So you can really pack in a large volume of clothes into the dry bag and squash it down really simply and easy and then just release the air here. So you can fit quite a lot in and then get it inside the backloader bag. Now the midloader is all one compartment with two easy access waterproof zips so you can quickly get into the bag and get into that single compartment there. And these zips are also weatherproof so it's perfect if you're going on a dusty ride, never mind the rain. And it also comes with five straps so it really securely fasten to your bike. Because of its position on the bike underneath the top tube, it can actually carry more weight than the backloader and can take six and a half kilos. So it's perfect for those smaller, heavier items, whereas the backloader might be more suited to taking a larger volume of lighter clothes, for example. Okay, right, next up we have got the front loader. So let's get into it, straight in there. Okay, so when you get your front loader, it will all come in a package and you'll get a harness, you'll get your six rubber spacers, you'll also get your waterproof dry bag with your air release valve, and you'll also get two 3M protective films. Now all in, this will all weigh 452 grams. So first off, we'll start with the dry bag. So this is suitable for carrying something like a sleeping bag. To demonstrate it, I'm just gonna put a towel in there because you, can't, you need to put something in to demonstrate it. Just stuff it full, so imagine I was taking this towel across the Andes Mountains or something, if only. <laughs> okay, so that'll go in like that. And then easily you can just harness the other side, another roll top closure system, three times again. One, two, three. Clips in easy again. And then you'd have your air release valve, so you just give that a squash, as with all the dry bags in the Topic bike packing range. It's just such a handy feature, it just condenses everything down within the dry bag so neatly. And you just close it there and it's sealed, kind of like a vacuum pack almost. So that's your dry bag. Then you have your harnessing system. So this would attach to your handlebars and your head tube. So that is really simple because it means you don't have to kind of take the whole thing off every time you stop every night. You have the dry bag, your sleeping bag in, you can just unclip it, take it away with you to your tent or your hostel, or your hotel, wherever you're staying. It makes it just a bit simpler and there's less kind of faffing around to do, I think. 
While we're on the topic of those rubber spacers, it just brings the bag off the handlebars once it's installed so that you can still use your hands as you normally would on the tops of the handlebars because there's space underneath just there, which would be a bit more difficult if the bag was flush on the handlebars. Now this bag comes in one size, eight liters, and it can take a maximum weight of five kilos. So it's perfect for those bulkier items. To top it off on front, we have the bar loader. Now this is a quick mount, six and a half liter capacity bag that's designed to fit over the top of the front loader bag. So it can go over the top of that bag or it can fit on your handlebars on its own. So the bar loader has a roll top closure. So you simply just unclip the fastening clip there and it rolls, rolls open. And then inside you will also find quite a handy shoulder strap. So if you are getting off your bike and going for a little wander, then you can quite easily attach the shoulder strap. Now also inside the bag, there's a handy little organizational pouch. So I'll just get it out for you. Nothing I like more than organization. And it comes out, so there you have it. So you have a few kind of smaller pockets inside there, Velcro to attach inside the bag, and a couple of little zip pockets too, so handy for any kind of spare change or little bits and bobs you might want to put in the bag. The bar loader is able to carry a maximum of three kilograms in weight, and all in, the bag weighs 325 grams. It comes in that one size of six and a half liters and it just comes in the color black with some also some kind of handy reflective graphics on the side too. Then we've got two bags which are pretty flexible as to where they can be mounted. The freeloader and the burrito wrap. So let's get into them shall we? First up, we have the freeload, and I have two of them here with me now. All in, the bag weighs 125 grams, and you're able to carry one kilogram. So that's including the space in the two side mesh pockets and the inner pocket. It's also a really handy self-closing system to close the bag. So you simply just pull up here, and it closes the bag really easy when you're out and on the go. And to open it, again, you just pull that back strap, and open the pocket. Now inside, you have an accessible lining, making it simple to clean. Just pull that out and you can give it a clean down. And there's also a little drainage hole at the bottom. So when it's in the bag, so you had your bottle in there and it maybe leaked, there's a drainage hole at the bottom of the bag. See so just there to allow any sort of leaks or moisture to escape. So really handy, handy little feature that. Right, the burrito pack now. Amazing name, isn't it? Makes me quite hungry, actually. But basically, this is a roll-up, three-compartment bag that's really handy for storing your kind of smaller items of gear like tubes, CO2 cartridges, maybe tire levers or a multi-tool. So you open the bag via this strap, and it's got elasticated straps here, so it opens up, rolls out, and you have your three compartments where you can neatly put in any mechanical spares. Then it just rolls back up, and then your strap here, this is a really strong Velcro strap, which makes the bag really flexible because this can fit to your saddle rails, to your top tube, and also to your seat post. All in, the burrito pack weighs just 91 grams. It's got a durable and waterproof lining, and it's just a handy pack for carrying your tools and spares in different positions on your bike. Right, there we go, all the bags in Top Eek's ultimate bike packing series. And as I said earlier in the video, we are doing a giveaway. So we are giving away three bundles, three ultimate bike packing bundles of all the products I've been talking about. So to be in with a chance of winning them, please follow the link in the description below, which will take you through to the competition page. So good luck. Right, thanks for watching everyone. And don't forget to enter that competition to be in with a chance of winning these bags from Topeak. Now I've got to um, go and make sure they all work, I guess. So I guess I better take them for a ride. I'll see you all in a few days. See you everyone, thanks for watching. <laughs> Woohoo!